there's my baby's catnip. It doesn't look like it's very happy inside, so I'm... Yeah. It smells like old pineapple in here. What is he doing? Girl. I don't really have a problem with the rabbits. Ooh, really? That's what we doing? Okay, pretty sure y'all heard that. Might have seen it. Cause, ooh. Oh, that's what we doing now? Spinach. Oh, there she go. I don't want your babies. She know I don't want her to. This looks like a tomato. Peppermint. Corsica mint. Like, who wants to use that? Who can get this out of the ground and get it clean enough to use? That's like ground cover. Mandarin that the rabbits were in. I just took Mr. some water. He's working out here. And I'm also uh, replanting my moringa. He's replacing a pole. They came loose. This is why I don't do the birds or the bunnies. Look at this. What did that? What did that? I tell you that much. You better not have been a rabbit. Whatever it is, dug all the hell up in there. Mister thinks it was a rabbit, and that's not impossible. But I mean, really, a uh, really ant mound. He gets a house. Okay, so I showed you where whatever dug up my, my Moringa flower pot, so there's that. I still haven't decided what I was going to put there. I keep shuffling between... Oh, okay, I hear you. There are birds in there. Um, I keep shuffling between snow peas and bell peppers. I know that's a bit, quite a jump, but I don't know. I always can see snow peas draped on the inside of the deck if I just put several in there and I could drape them, bind them uh, inside, hanging inside the deck. And then whenever I want to, I can um, harvest from inside. I think that's a good idea. And I may go ahead and try that this year if I do not do the bell peppers. Here's the baby bed. And this is a small raised bed. Uh, my spinach have come up in it, but the leaves are really small. It's a really small spinach. I don't know if it's because it's, if it's, because it's warmed up so, significant, so significantly, but yeah, these uh, leaves are really small. I replanted both my cucumbers for the third time. I think I showed in the video where the cold snap got them. This is marjoram. I don't use marjoram, but when Mr. was picking up the sage, he decided to he decided to get me some marjoram. I don't cook with it, but I appreciate his thoughtfulness about his wife's green thumb. I appreciate that very much. And I also put the uh, peas again, the snow peas, lining them along the insides here. Lettuce and onion starts. Okay, girl, don't sweat. The lettuce and onion starts, and these are herb starts. Mint, doing well. I harvested some both mint and lemon verbena as I trained this Egyptian walk. Surviving Egyptian walking onion. Yes, that girl said, I'm not gonna leave you high and dry. I got you. And um, I appreciate that girl. I do. Holler that is coming along so well right now. Looking so fresh, so fresh, that I am going to eat this leaf right here. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm just going to eat it without rinsing it, but I can't do it. Uh. You guys get to see me eat my first collard leaf you away late for my spinach. I've already had a couple of micro harvests from those. But here we go. Hmm. Now normally somebody wouldn't want to take that leaf off of their collar because they wanted to be able to continue to absorb energy but I'm experienced at this point. The last thing you're scared to do is to prune back a plant because you know it can only get better from there. It can only get better. But yeah, this is my tomato. This is going to be the first one, clearly. 
and I believe this is going to be the second one. And the reason why it's in this raised bed is because after the storm, I believe one of the seeds jumped out of this pot into this raised bed, which is fine. I'm going to leave it there until this one is uh, large enough to repot, and then I'm going to put that small one in this tiny pot to follow. I transplanted two of the uh, callaloo because if y'all were with me last year, you know that two is all you need. I had about five or six in here and it was way too much. But I enjoyed every single harvest. In fact, I have some right now in the freezer from last year. I'm thinking about seeing how it freezes uncooked and then um, cooking it when I get ready for it because it doesn't take long to cook at all. So I'm thinking maybe I'll freeze it fresh and see how it cooks from there. Because people buy frozen spinach, right? Yeah, that should work. Yeah, I also planted a handful of peas here. I always know that's the weed when it's in a place that I did not plant red leaf lettuce. And I have not planted red leaf lettuce anywhere except in the starter pots. Mrs. is fixing the second post now. Because he can't stop. He can't help himself. He needed to stop, but he can't. Yeah, I planted some more peas against this cage because the peas I planted before never came up. Okra in the back corner this year that never came up. And this is part of why all the birds are running amok. They were grieving their baby. And Mr. said there was another one in the back corner, so they had a couple of losses today. Blue Barb doing very well. I brought him out some water with a top on it so bugs don't get in it. And it's mostly ice so that it can have room to melt and stay cold as ice water. And I bought a ice uh, bottle to refill it when he drinks it all up since it's mostly ice. And I brought him out some yammy juice. Yes. With a individually wrapped straw. I'm surprised he didn't say something when I walked away. He likes for me to be around. And so if I come around while he's working, he loves it. And so I'll just come around and be around for a minute. And then when I get ready to go back and do what I'm doing, he'll be like, oh yeah, um, like he meant to tell me something. <laughs> but he don't have nothing to say. He just don't want me to leave. <laughs> he wants me to hang out. Hang out, even if I stand there and uh, micromanage. He's so cute. I love him. I love that bird. He did a good job on the post, too. I ranch stuff up. As soon as my opal basil pops up again, because I lost them. As soon as my opal basil pops up, I'm going to replant it with that uh, pineapple sage. The house is a clusterfuck, and I need to clean the kitchen. Meanwhile, here is my my baby's catnip, and my life day flowers are over. <laughs> I need to get rid of these, put them somewhere, and use them for other starts. Speaking of my baby's catnip, let me show you guys this. Hell, look at that. You can see it under the tree there. Look at that. Oh, y'all. It's a foot and a half tall. Mmm. So pretty. We don't have a gust to cut it down. It's the baby. Uh... Oh, you know what? We probably have to cut it down. You know what I was just thinking? Maybe all these random new stray cats are coming for the baby's plant, that big old baby's tree, catnip tree. Uh, it's very possible. It is catnip. Uh-huh. They need to stay out there with it.